Hello. Today I'll be doing some uh, predictive modeling on chem informatics. So, uh, to start with, uh, the requirements for this uh, assignment goes like this: it require softwares like R, you require OpenBabel, some R packages like the Rock R, Random Forest, Party, RCDK, Kernel Lab, and E one zero seven one zero seven one. Apart from that, you need require a knowledge on some of the statistics matrix like ROC, precision, recall, accuracy, and the F1 score. So the workflow goes like this. Uh, so we will download some of the PubChem bioassay datasets and filter those datasets, the actives and the inactives, using the Open Babel program. And then uh, you have, we need to load those filtered datasets into R and process the compounds using RCDK and create learning models like the knife paste, the random forest and SVM classification models and then uh, writing the statistics like the and the accuracy, the sensitivity, specificity and the fun score and then the plotting the ROC curves for the different algorithms. So First of all, you need R R C D K, which is an uh, R package written by Rajeshri Guha in uh, uh, for uh, uh, for using uh, chem informatics uh, in, uh, functionalities in R. So it covers a lot of useful materials, and the most important is like it can calculate fingerprints, it can part the smiles, you can use uh, load. The SEO files and load uh, uh, load smiles and you can calculate different kinds of like uh, properties of chemicals and all. Uh, for uh, for this work, we I have actually uh, used uh, mutagen mutagen data from the Bursi Casius and Bursi data set, which uh, which I have already parsed using Open Babel and filtered the compounds. So for the filtration, I used uh, some criteria like uh, here you can see in this page. Uh, I used a filter of uh, some like remove the strip the salts and then remove duplicate compounds and I want compounds which has more than ten heteroatoms and uh, less than equals to sixty and then I happen the activity outcome like active and inactive to the data so let me show you how the mutagen file looks like so here you have the mutagen smiles file which I generated from the open Bible after all this filterate filtration and all it has the smiles and has the ID the cas ID and the activity outcome you know the mutagen or it's a non mutagen without any headers so to start with, uh, in R, you just need to load some of the packages using the library function, the library rock R, uh, to do some ROC curve analysis, the R random forest module, and then the party, the RCDK, and the Kern lab, and the E1071. And, and there's, I, I wrote a separate code, the summary of different classification. Uh, statistics which are required to show you can write your own script also and or uh, you can use this so all these materials is uh, available at uh, github uh, for here and uh, so this is some of the function so the whole function which is uh, which I use to to make uh, this uh, this this uh, modeling assignment and apart from that uh, data set in smiles which I showed you and the classification code uh, which co which which can like you know calculate the true positive rate the false positive the true negative the false negative the total uh, accuracy, then the confusion matrix, and uh, the accuracy, the sensitivity, specificity, precision, the F1 score. So all these functions you can see I just calculated using just passing the 
spotting some of the variables and then I calculated it and you just need to call this function in the uh, in the R and it will show you all the results so let me show you how I work uh, I use this different functions and used to build a classification model and then uh, summary statistics of the models so in R uh, go to R you oops sorry So you know, uh, this, this is the R Studios. It's a, a very good platform to do some R coding and all. So I basically loaded the different libraries and then I re read the uh, the Mutant da data in the folder as CSV file. And then uh, since there is no headers, so automatically R uh, you know uh, put headers as V1, V2, and V3, something like that. Then this, then from so the first is V1. The cat the ID is V2 and the outcome is V3. So what do you need to do? You you need to uh, recognize uh, this those miles as characters. So that's why to so put the header uh, data the smiles as as character and then this is a RCDK function to parse the smiles. So it will parse the smiles from that header. And will be uh, and that all these things, all the smiles will be copied in this smile uh, variable. Then I create a fingerprint kind of a vector to calculate to generate the fingerprints here. So let me show you step by step how does it work. Uh, I write the data in. And then I create a vector and then generate the fingerprints for all the compounds. It will take some time. So uh, FP to matrix converts the CMP vector to a matrix. Uh, so it, it actually uh, forms a list, and from that list, it uh, usually converts the converts it into a matrix. So this function you will find in RCDK, and then you just use uh, some data frame. You just use uh, I just used uh, this matrix and convert it into a data frame. Then I added the different variables here. The IDs and the outcome, which is in the V3 and the V2, to the to the data frame. To the data frame, I need it as data set. And then I, what I did, I made a training and a test set. So this training and a test set is based on 80 percent, 80 percent and 20 percent. So 80 percent is the training set and 20 percent is the test set, and the, then after that, I will train the model in the training set, and when the model gets generated, I will test my results on the test set. So, uh, the random forest uh, function I used is from the random forest library, the knife piece from the E1071, and the KSVM is from the Kern lab uh, library. Uh, so, since uh, also, like in the fingerprint, you see there are various uh, fingerprint types. I use max keys. Here, you can find a lot of other fingerprints in in the RCDK package. So just go to get fingerprints uh, here, and they have like standard uh, the uh, standard the extended the craft based the hybridization, the max the E state and the the pop chem, the KR fingerprint like Clicota and Roth and all these things. So you can use different kind of fingerprints to test your model, which which uh, which fingerprints performs very good. So so for only you know uh, so there are various uh, types of you can extend like the depth of 
x7 and increase the size for the standard extended and craft based fingerprints but for max estate and popcam fingerprints you can uh, you just need to put uh, only the name of the type like type equals popcam and popcam has 881 fingerprints the estate 779 and the max is 166 so already I have generated the fingerprints, I will convert it to the matrix and add these columns here and create a train test and a training set. So all things is done, so let's try to model using different models. Uh, in this, in this uh, uh, assignment, I didn't, I didn't show you I am creating a the cross validation model, but you can use a different, you can write a code and, and try to make it uh, cross validating model. KSDM comes with a cross uh, function so you can put uh, that cross uh, equals to 10 at, and it will create you a cross validated model. You can also create a function in your cross validation and put all the things inside uh, links the function we are in a forest inside and it will you know, calculate all the uh, different uh, different cross validation models and will produce you the output. So. So it's just very uh, a very simple way to how to you know model using different libraries and these things. So yeah, so you can run it. Uh, yeah, I'm running. The get fingerprint, other than get fingerprint, here yeah, it can use uh, you can use the SDF files and the smiles and I think it accepts only these two formats here right now. Uh, apart from that, you can visualize a lot of molecule. Uh, you can visualize molecules using the view mall dot two D. But uh, actually, uh, the two D is uh, uh, visualization of the molecule. Uh, but it doesn't if you want to see a bunch of molecules it's not possible in Mac but it um, but it works in the Linux and the Windows operating system so the table is not uh, doesn't work in, in uh, Mac right now so it works in um, uh, the other operating systems so it's a pretty powerful language uh, pretty powerful uh, package also so to do a lot of bunch of game informatics so let me see yeah, the model is already being done, and now uh, what I'm try what I'll do, I will, I will use the test set to predict this model, and then I'll the predict and uh, thus the predict function will do, and then the prediction will create the ROC curves uh, results. Uh, so this is from the rocker package, and then uh, the AUC AUC curve very under the curve is calculated using the performance function. So this is for the knife base model. Um, this one is from the Rhino Forest. It's already done, and this one is for SVM. Okay, so this is already been done, and this calculates the AUC scores of each of the model here. And then after that, I plot it, plot the results. And it shows you a beautiful R6 curves and also the random forest uh, model AUC scores of different like you can see the random forest performed pretty much pretty well and after that is VM so so using luck uh, so now the classification statistics the classification and all everything can be calculated for each for each uh, model like random forest knife base and SVM uh,
I create data frame for each of the like the AUC accuracy specificity and sensitivity and then just put all the data frames into a single data frame so you can see different methods the accuracy the sensitivity specificity the AUC and F1 score uh, for all these three models and you can just see that which model performed pretty the best and which model didn't perform didn't perform well so so this is all uh, for today and I'll, I'll ne on next lecture I'll show you how to use uh, uh, how to use a pharmacophore and pharmacophore modeling using ligand scout and uh, how to you how to do how to virtual screen a large data set